welcome this is technical problem 5 this today we'll learn how to write custom functions in mathematica you have already seen a little bit of it and today we are going to learn how to write custom functions which involve multiple steps of calculation into a single function using the module construct so let's go ahead and get started with it now we are all familiar that if i want to define a function g of x then i should use the notation g in the square bracket i should write x and i should put an underscore saying that x is a pattern and x is not just a symbol x but the pattern x is what we are referring to and at this point we'll say equal to let's say x square when we do that i can call g by passing it a value so let me pass on 2 and you see that i'll get g of 2 equal to 4 and we can try ahead and make g of 5 should be 25 and so on now this is one way of defining the function and in this case we can define the function in one go in one line uh, but sometimes it, it requires function to have multiple steps in that case this one line definition may not be enough and we'll need to use module function but before we go to module let's also understand the subtle difference between set and set delayed set is a built-in construct and if you go ahead and uh, look at its documentation set is same as set can also be invoked by using equal to for example when i say a equal to 2 it is essentially i am calling the set command and saying set a as 2 that is a is equal to 2 when i say a equal to 2 a is assigned a value 2 and when i call a i in return i get the value 2 the same thing happens for the function the same thing happens for the function when i call the function uh, when i define the function g of x over here as as um, this g is set as a function to be x square or g whenever it sees a pattern which is what we call as x over here it, it, it's that pattern is squared and the value is returned let's see the difference by defining as g of y and this time we'll not give an underscore and we'll say g of y is equal to let's say 7 and let's go ahead and uh, do that and let's go ahead and call g of y and you'll see that we'll get 7 but at this time if i call g of t we'll get t square because g of t has not been defined with a specific value g of y was defined with a specific value y that means anytime the symbol y is passed to g it'll simply give me the value 7 if I update g of y to let's say 9 and I call, call g of y again, execute this line, I'll get 9 back. I do the same thing for g of 2 or g of 2t. You see, I'll get 4t square, which is essentially uh, the definition x square. So let's understand this difference. Um, we have made explicit definition that whenever g of y is called, it should be assigned a value 9. So whenever it sees g of y, it will return a value 9. But whenever it doesn't see g of y, it sees anything else, it will assume that as a pattern that has not been defined and go for a definition that have, have a definition of g for, uh, for, for a generic pattern. And then it will fall back onto this definition. And for this definition, x square has been defined and it will give me x square. And this is arbitrary. You can actually put in any expression over here. For example, I can put in sine of y and it will give me sine, of, sine square of y. Similarly, you can go ahead and define g of 3 equal to 10. You know that g of x is x square, so g of 3 should be 9. But now I am over, overloading that with g of 3 as a specific definition, g of 3 being 10. So let me go ahead and define that. Now you see whenever I call g of 3, I'll get a value 10. While if I call g of 2, I'll get 4. And if I call g of um, 4, I'll get 16. If I call g of 3, I'll get 10. But if I call g of 3.0, I'll get 9.0. Because g of 3 was a specific pattern for, for integer 3, g of 3 was defined as 9, not uh, as 10, not in general. So if I So this is also known as function overloading. For a given function, you can define 
multiple definitions and depending on the context system will automatically understand which definition is being required and it will produce that definition it will use that definition to produce your result now that we have understood that let's also understand difference between set and set delayed if you go if you want you can go ahead and look at the documentation for set let's go ahead and look at set delayed set delayed is again a construct that can be simply called by colon equal to construct or colon equal to symbol so let me go ahead and open this documentation if you look at the documentation of set delayed it says that set delayed or colon equal to is defined as it can be used as this left hand side colon equal to right hand side which means that assign right hand side to be delayed value of left hand side it also says that right hand side is maintained in an unevaluated form when left hand side appears it is replaced by right hand side evaluated afresh each time so the difference between set delayed and set is the following if i define a new function let me say uh, let me say gg of x and this time i'll use colon equal to that is I'll, i'm going to use set delayed and i'll say colon equal to as x cube now the effect of this is same as as uh, set or equal to colon equal to over here seems to have the same function as equal to but there is a subtle difference equal to makes the evaluation of the right hand side immediately so in this case when i did a definition using equal to it evaluated the right hand side as x square so x square was taken as the pattern x squared and that value was immediately assigned to g in set, set delayed that doesn't really happen this left hand side or right hand side is preserved as it is and left hand side is only assigned a value when gg is called so this is this doesn't become apparent or visible to you immediately but this becomes important when the function can only be evaluated if a integer value is available for example let's go ahead and do numerical integration of x square and where x goes from 0 to y and you see then when I uh, call this this is going to complain because the y is not a numerical limit it says the x equal to y is not a valid limit of integration y is not a number on the other hand if this was 1 this will evaluate to a number but if I give it something that has not been defined as a number it's going to complain that this doesn't work but if that is my need I can go ahead and define a function let me say g2 and this time I'm going to say g2 of y equal to n integrate now let me go ahead and do that and you see that it's going to complain because it's going to evaluate the right hand side and it's unable to evaluate the right hand side because y is not a number so it's going to complain that it's not able to evaluate the right hand side and it's not able to uh, do this do this properly so now if i go ahead and call g2 of 1 so now i can solve this problem by defining a set delayed so i can go ahead and set g2 of y colon equal to n integrate of this and now if i go ahead it says that it has no no problem with that because it has not tried to attempt it to evaluate the the right hand side at this point i can now go ahead and call g2 of 2 or g2 if i if i call g2 of y for example where y is is just a symbol it's going to it's going to complain as before because now it's trying to attempt to evaluate the right hand side but if i pass it a numerical value an integrate will be happy and it's going to be fine with the value that is passed on to it and it's going to evaluate it to a number so i hope you 
have understood the difference between um, equal to and colon equal to or de set delete and set and set delete. Let's go ahead and think about constructing more complex functions which cannot be done in a single line. So for such things and also when we require internal variables or local variables that are not defined that we don't want to be defined in the global context. By global context we mean that uh, the, the, the function g exists in the global context, function gg that we have defined exists in the global context and function g2 that we have defined exists in the global, global context and so on. And similarly, we also defined a which was assigned a value to it exists in the global context while we have not yet defined b and does not have a value in the global context. So, suppose we want to define a function which involves multiple steps then we need to use a construct like module. So, I will show you how to use module. Module construct is takes two arguments one is the local variables which are given as a list of inside a pair of curly brackets and the expression. So, in this case let me go ahead and say x square and this point I will say x is a local variable. Let us go ahead and evaluate that and you see it gives me some sort of gibberish because in this context x is a local variable module was given some number this is that number of that call of the module and as a consequence the variable that is internal to mathematical system is x dollar followed by this number which is being squared. So, this does not really give me uh, anything sensible uh, and it should not because module is used to define functions. So, what I need to do is I need to define a new function let us say ff of x and let me go ahead and say equal to x square and let me execute it and you see this time again I will get some gibberish of this form which does not seem to be very interesting, but let me go ahead and anyway calculate ff of 3 and see what happens. You see that ff of x was assigned a value uh, this. So, it is so immediately the right hand side was evaluated and ff of x was assigned a value x times this squared and now when I pass an argument 3 to it, it does not really work because the right hand side got evaluated. So, when I am using a module construct I really want to use the colon equal to and I in this case I do not uh, I am trying attempting to use the same uh, x as an argument of the function ff and the local variable. So, this is complaining I can go ahead and remove this keep keep it empty go ahead and execute it and now if when I call ff of 3 it will evaluate to 9. Let me try something else ff of 10 will evaluate to 100 and so on. Now, this is the basic usage of ff of, of module construct and that does not really illustrate much. Let me go ahead and take uh, an example at this point. Let us say I want to uh, calculate the calculate the speed given distance and time. So, now my function speed is going to have two arguments that is distance and time and I will say colon equal to module and this time I will define uh, an internal variable and I will call that internal variable as SPD for short for speed and then for the body I will write SPD equal to distance divided by time and I will say return SPD. Return is going to return the value of that of SPD that has been calculated. Now, there are multiple steps or multiple statements involved in the body. This is this these two highlighted statements are the body of the module. There are multiple statements involved in this body and therefore, they have to be separated by semicolon. So, let me go ahead and execute that. So, at that execution define speed because speed has been defined with a set delayed. Notice that if I define it with uh, without that it is going to give me this which will become basically 
useless. At least that's what I think. Now it works, but that's not very important and useful for most applications. So let me go ahead and uh, make a definition of colon equal to and so you have to understand the difference that speed is a local variable that this speed is a local variable and distance and time are arguments of the function that I'm defining speed. So first I calculate a speed equal to distance over time and then I return speed and now when I calculate speed for distance equal to 10 units and time equal to 2 units I get a value of 5. Now it may be so that you require to calculate this um, speed when the distance and you want the answer in meter per second while the distance is given in kilometers and time is given in hours. So in that case you will need to do the following let us say distance is given in kilometers and time is given in hours and I want to get the speed in meters per second. So step by step if I want to do this I would probably want to do something like that I would like to get uh, time in seconds and I'll I want to get distance in meters and then I want to define speed. So first step would be to calculate time in seconds given the time is in is in is in hours so I will say the time argument that has been given in hours or rather I should say time in second is equal to time in hours times 3600 3600 put a semicolon then I need to calculate distance in meters and this time I want to multiply 1000 to the dist argument put a semicolon then I want to calculate speed as distance in meters divided by time in seconds and return speed. So now you see that if the speed is let's work with the familiar numbers if speed is 36 kilometer if the distance is 36 kilometer and time is 1 hour we know the speed is 10 meter per second and this does work and you can check again if I make that 72 in 2 hours it's going to be 10 again and likewise you can go ahead and play with this example. So now you see that when I want to do a calculation in multiple steps I can define custom functions using the module construct. I can use n number of local arguments and those local arguments are used inside over here local uh, variables uh, time in second distance in meters and speed are local variables. You can see that time in second is not defined in the global context. There is no value of time in second in the global context. Similarly, distance in meters has no value in the global context. It is an internal variable only to this module and outside this module there is no value assigned to, assigned to that. So that way when you are working with a complex calculation where multiple variables you need to define but they, you don't want them to be in a global context, you want them to be in a local context, you can put them inside a module, do multiple steps of calculation and finally return one or two values that you want to return and define all this entire module as a function with a set delayed operation. Alright, I hope you understood how to use module, we will use in some examples that we'll going, we are going to use in the course.